G'day, this is Mike from Red20RC and this is part four of the project, otherwise known as tuning. So tuning is a bit like playing a guitar. Um, you can get the best guitar player in the world and if his guitar isn't in tune, you still play it but it's going to sound awful um, and the same goes with with quads I've often heard it said the difference between a good pilot and a great pilot is good tuning now the problem is I'm not a great pilot and I'm absolutely no good at tuning so what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to tell you exactly how to tune your quad what I am going to do is I'm going to do some clips and some bits and I'm going to try tuning a few of these that are around and, and tell you what I did. So let's get going. Okay, so I'm gonna try tuning the R220 Evo. Um, I've got Boris Speed Better Flight, um, running cycle time around about a thousand on PID1, and I've got the I've got stock 40, 30, 40 on everything. I've dropped the Yaw as well. Um, Roll pitch and your are up a bit, but we'll we'll do those later. So I'm gonna go and fly it and see what happens. <laughs> Not bad. We'll see. Okay, we're going to have a go at the eye now. Uh, I'll put the goggles on and we'll see how it does, see if we get this oscillation. So I load the eye just a little bit, but to be honest, that was pretty good. I mean, when it was dropping in its own prop wash, there was a little bit of wobble, but that's to be expected. But when it was descending, flying forward, it was pretty solid. So we won't touch that. Let's plug it in and see what we got. Okay, so after that first flight tuning, the, the P and the I, um, we we're doing them together, so they're both the same figure. The proportional's gone up to 5.2 and the eyes come down to 0 0.021 which is kind of following what we would expect so we'll get up and check the D we'll probably, but it's on 40 at the moment so from what I hear we can probably push it a bit higher and the pitch will probably need to go a bit higher than the roll although this is a fairly well balanced frame so maybe not um, alright, let's see what happens <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so the D was pretty locked in then. You could hear the, the motors and the props all like screaming when they were coming out of the roll. Um, and also, if you were paying attention to the footage, we've got a bushfire coming up behind us. So the wind is actually blowing this way. So we might have to abandon. I'll go up and take a look actually through the, through the, through the glasses. But if it's blowing this way, we're going to have to get out of here. Okay, so we've now got the switchy set up for tuning yaw. Now you notice I did a little yaw there and it was awful at the end of that last flight. So let's go up and do some yawing. Now this is the one that I always have trouble tuning. So from what I hear, I and D need to go up a lot and P needs to go down. <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, that's what we got going on. We've got a lot of smoke coming over the field. It's still a way off, but to be honest, I'm gonna bug out now. We'll get this video out without the yaw done, and we'll come back and look at the yaw another time. Have fun, wish me luck. So I'm back in the workshop, didn't, didn't burn, um, and I put a message on the Newcastle FPV Facebook page asking for somebody to help me out with the your problems, and somebody immediately said something which eventually, after about 20 minutes, clicked with me. Um, of course, I was actually tuning the your flying FPV, and my camera set at about 20 degrees, so I wasn't tuning your flat like that. I was tuning your like that, because if you look in the um, flight footage, the horizon's level. So of course, if you try and yaw it like this, of course it's going to roll every time. So I just went to get out the back of the house, so on, on the reserve, flew it line of sight, and of course it spins like a top. It's overshooting slightly, so we'll um, we'll tweak that a bit. But yeah, it's pretty much spot on. Uh, so yes, yeah, so this is the this is the end of this one. Um, but we'll get out. I'll probably do a quick follow up to this video, and we'll get out and we'll do some line of sight, some FPV footage, just so you can see what it looks like now. It's all now it's all locked in. Thanks. I'll see you soon.